Hey everybody, Kim here. Let's talk about links in bio. A lot of people ask a question, what is a link in bio? It seems pretty obvious, right? It's just a link in your bio and it goes to several different buttons and it basically turns an Instagram profile into a backlink machine. And it helps you direct people to sales that you might have going on or specials, something like that. Um, but who I want to kind of publicly call out a little bit today is Squarespace for making a link in bio profile. What am I talking about? I recently got an email that said, hey, Squarespace now has link in bio. You may say, Kim, first of all, I thought that you only did WordPress sites. Yes, I mainly focus on WordPress sites, but I do also work with Squarespace sites because I will give them props that they have caught up finally with some of the capabilities, especially on the SEO side that WordPress can have. So anyway, they sent an email today that said, oh, look, you have your new link in bio. We'll come to find out that it is yet another one of these companies that is a third party software. And in fact, there is one called link in bio. So you might see people's pages um, and it is like a company name. That's when they have done link in bio wrong, incorrectly. Do not use a third party plugin for your link in bio. There's zero reason for this unless you just want to give another company some extra money and add a middleman to your website. All it's going to do is take people from your social media and direct them through their third party software. All of your stats and all of that stuff is owned by them. Why don't you just make a blog post on your site, backdate it all the way so it's not one of your recent featured articles. Don't make it a page because it's gonna look funky and not be connected uh, with the rest of your content, but a blog page is perfect for this. Way, way back, just backdate it. And then put your own buttons on there to direct people where you're going. And that way you'll have all of your stats saved in your Google Analytics that you own. So if you happen to find out, oh, this company went out of business. Oh, this link in bio product isn't free anymore. Oh, this link in bio, uh, you know, changed, whatever. You don't have that middleman. There's no reason to create a middleman within your business. So don't be fooled by Squarespace's recent email about link in bio. And don't be fooled by any of these companies that say, let me make a nice meet, uh, link in bio for your website. Just make one on your website, word to the wise. Okay, I'm going to try to keep sharing tips on these random things that people ask me about all the time. So today is link in bio day and I hope you enjoyed it. Just make one on your website. Just make buttons. That's it. Add it to your site. Also, you can make it something short and cute like your website forward slash Insta is mine or your website forward slash go or something like that. Um, that way you also have your URL. Plus you have all those links that are going to be indexed with Google. You lose all that capability when you use one of those silly companies like link in bio. So stay away. If you have it, get rid of it. You're going to lose all your data, but better lose it now than later. So just stay away from those companies. Okay. All right. Stay tuned for more tips. Have a great day. Bye.